welcome back live to Fort Lauderdale Beach. You are looking live at the Florida Panthers championship celebration for their Stanley Cup. And as we just saw Ryan Lomberg there, he's been shirtless the entire morning. We've seen players hop off the double-decker buses with the trophy. We've seen them leap into the ocean once more. We've seen them high-five the fans along the parade route. And now they are at the stage, and we are moments away from the beginning of the championship rally. This has just been moment after moment of just unbridled joy. That's what people are experiencing out here. We were worried with the rain. We thought maybe thunder and lightning would slow us down. Oh, no, it did not. Every player that touches that trophy, that touches the Stanley Cup right now on that stage is raising it over their heads, giving it a kiss, truly savoring these moments that I'm sure are going to, you know, live with them forever. Such a special experience for them and their families. You see some family members. And just a short time ago, someone was wearing a T-shirt that said Maurice Zito. It looked like an election shirt, like 2024 Maurice Zito. I think that's a vote all of us can get sure. behind at this point. <laughs> Let's go live to Be Betty Wynn and Salso Samantha Rivera, who is uh, standing by live with more. Samantha. Let's go back now to uh, Betty Wynn as we see the not only the uh, players, but also their fans celebrating it. And they've been taking turns doing curls with the Stanley Cup trophy there. Let's go to Betty Wynn. Betty. Hi there. It is pure pandemonium out here. I mean, look at this crowd. You got players on stage hoisting the Stanley Cup. So many of them have been out here in and out with the just partying with the fans. They are really showing true appreciation. And you know, it's well deserved. Not only has this team fought hard to be here, but these fans have stayed here on this beach. Some of them coming here since five o'clock this morning, setting up their tents, setting up their chairs. Some are still in their bikinis from earlier when it wasn't raining, but it's been pouring for well over an hour now, and it hasn't deterred the crowd. In fact, as the buses came with the players, you started seeing the stage area getting bump rushed, if you will, because people were just running down here to get a glimpse of these players, these national champions, as you see them on the stage, and they're starting to gather. Look at that. Every time they hoist the cup, the crowd goes wild. I'm loving the shots, and just these fans, they're having just the time of their life. It is nothing but a beach party out here. It's almost hard to hear anyone because it's so loud with the music and the fans screaming, but it's just pure jubilation, which it should be, because this has been a long road, 31 years to get to this point. This is history in the making, folks. And we're watching it under gray skies, under rain. It doesn't matter. These fans would never have not been here for this moment in time. And so this is history right here on the beach here in Fort Lauderdale. What an amazing moment just to see all of these fans out here. Look at the smiles. Look at the jubilation. I mean, this has been going on for hours, and no one's tired. No one's sick of the rain. We're just having a good time out here, Jim and Lauren. 